we've all had the tales of Lutuli, the place where you go to buy a Samsung TV just for you to reach home and find it's written Samyong or some other funny name. It happens and it feels terrible being coined like that. But such cases have been on the decline with the electronics becoming more affordable to acquire. But the question still exists. Are the products from Lutoli original or fake? So in this video, we're going to try and answer just that. My name is Nahashon and let's jump straight into it. The quick answer to this video's question is no. Lotoli products are not fake, but, and that's a big but, if you blink twice, you'll end up with a fake product because your original product can end up being uh, changed with a damaged or even a generic product. The Kenya of today is not the one from 10 years ago when it used to be a hassle to import anything. We've catched up with a lot of uh, global trends and even uh, emerging uh, trends. Importing things have become so easy and you can watch the video on how to import products to Kenya quickly. The problem of easy imports has brought also with it one big problem though, and that's quality control, in which in most cases is almost non-existent because the products coming from China, most of them are very substandard. Now, we need to understand some three terminologies at this point. And the first one is, what is an original product? Second one is, what is a generic product? And third is, what is a fake product? Let us use the global electronic giant Samsung for this case. Samsung is known worldwide. They can release a smartphone like the Galaxy S20. That on its own is a genuine phone since it comes directly from the manufacturer, which is Samsung. Samsung themselves can also sell a refurb phone or let's say a laptop or any other product. And these were products which were once sold or were found to be defective. And then they were returned maybe to the company for repairs. Sometimes it can be something as minor as maybe just a slight scratch on the back of the phone. But it, just because of that scratch, it has to be returned back to the manufacturer for repair, then it will be sold again. For as long as the company is reselling something that has been repaired, that is what is referred to as a refurb. So a refurb necessarily isn't a fake product. And in fact, most refurbs are actually genuine products. And you're better off with that than a generic product. The term generic is more common in the medical world, with the generic uh, medicines costing way cheaper than the original drug. This is because uh, the companies that make the original product, they had to do a lot of research and development. And so because of that, their pricing is usually very high. But once the licenses maybe expire, then it means any other company can replicate whatever the first company did. So that's where the generic drugs come in. And that's why those drugs are cheaper, because those companies don't have a lot of uh, research they have to do. Basically, they're just copy-pasting what someone else did. That logic also applies to the tech world. Generic phones mostly have uh, no brand names or can even have a different uh, style or look on it. Or even mostly they have some other name which you've never heard of. But they share the same materials and even specifications. But this doesn't make them fake, because a generic phone company won't claim to make the same exact Samsung smartphone like the S20. With them, they'll use the same components, same materials, and even sometimes the same design, but then they'll brand their own company name. So it looks more of a clone than the Samsung, but it's a different brand on its own. The only time the generic company can be said to, making, to be making a fake product is if they started maybe slapping the Samsung name on their device, because in this case, they'll be infringing on maybe the design patterns and even the trademark of Samsung. But if the same company was just to create a phone that almost looks like Samsung, then there's a good chance there won't be much issues with that. And a famous company which was actually known for copying other companies was Xiaomi before they went on their own. Originally, they used to do a lot of phones which almost looked like Samsung and iPhones. And back to Lutoli, most fake products look almost exactly as the original product, but their specifications and how they work is uh, completely different. If you browse Facebook groups, for example, you'll see so many people writing something like, uh, I'm selling a high copy Samsung S20. So you'd be wondering like, what is a high copy? By that, what they mean is it's a clone of the Samsung S20, which means the design is almost the same. And even maybe the material, the 
you know, bar case, whatever material is being used is the same. But the quality is usually very different and even the specifications are completely different. Those phones are usually just terrible. They have very low processors, they have terrible RAM, and even the memory management is just off. So what are the reasons for people saying that the products from Lutuli are fake? The first one, the price. One concern people have about these products that being fake is that they are cheap. The products in Lotoli are cheap because uh, most don't have the added 16% VAT tax. Then the other reason is that the offices that they use are much smaller and then they sell very high volumes which makes their profit markup smaller. Compared to a brand shop which has to pay the 16% VAT, then they also maybe have a higher rent due to their location which is at a high end street and like the crowded place that is Lotoli. The second reason is warranty. When you buy a TV or a smartphone from Lutuli, a warranty claim becomes very dodgy. If you go to a brand shop, they will just take the device and send it to a service dealer on your behalf. So you just go to the shop, drop your phone, collect the same phone from the same shop. But that is not the case with Lutuli. You'll be told you have to take your device to the service center yourself. And that becomes a huge hassle having to deal with the guys at that shop. Which leads me to the third reason, which is they often sell devices from other regions. This is very common with smartphones. You will buy a Samsung phone and then they will tell you it has an international warranty. But in real sense, the device was built maybe for the Dubai or European market. What that means is that uh, if that device has a problem, the warranty shops in Kenya will not service the device for free. That is, you will instead be required to pay normal price for repair or you find a way to ship it out to the country of origin where the warranty is valid and that is almost impossible to do. This issue makes people raise a lot of claims saying that all oh, the products that they bought are fake because even the warranty companies locally are not able to repair them for free using their own warranty which they have. And four, there's the generic problem. Every day in Lutuli you will see a new product which has some funny name which you've never seen or heard of. They sell TVs, speakers, phones, solar panels and everything in between. Most of the items are of very low and substandard quality and they come from China in bulk. A most common scenario with these products is that they experience a lot of uh, power failures, especially TVs and home theaters. The devices don't have any kind of warranty for repair and you'll have to find a repair shop that stocks the parts of the product that you bought. And in fact, that's why anytime you buy, let's say a TV in Lutuli, they will almost always advise you to buy a power surge protector. And then again, they're the same guys who will be selling you one of those, which is also a generic and a cheap one. Number five, there is the con problem. I mentioned earlier that you can purchase an original product, but blink twice and you will end up with a fake product. Lotoli has so many electricians too. These guys are smart enough to take different parts from different devices then they'll put them up together and sell these devices as an original product. They'll even get the packaging and then completely seal it. That means that when you're buying the TV, you can buy, pay, then if you get distracted just for a minute, they'll switch that product with a fake product. And that is something that has happened so many times. And of course, it is very, very illegal because basically that is just stealing. Since the business day is usually very informal, sometimes you don't even have a receipt or the receipt doesn't even reflect the shop where you bought it from. It may be a made-up receipt for a company that, or a business that doesn't even exist in the area. So when you try to go back to try and claim, they'll tell you, hey, we don't know anything about that TV. Nobody sold that TV to you here. So again, you have to be extremely careful Like when you buy the product. Make sure you have it and don't lose sight of it. Otherwise, it can end up being switched for a fake product. And number six, there's the broker problem. You might go to a shop willing to buy an item. But you find so many guys standing outside the door of that shop and you're wondering like, hey, who's the owner of this shop? All these guys will come to you and start asking you different questions, asking you what you want to buy. And you end up being confused. And sometimes they will even go to a different shop. Then they get whatever you need from that shop and bring it to you. And in all that mix up, that's how you can end up being conned. Because it's even hard to track who is selling what to you. So you can't easily even pinpoint someone and say, hey, it's that guy who sold uh, this and that item to me. And also because of that, it's so easy for them to switch again products with a fake one. All this shows you how much of a hassle it is to buy something in Lutuli. And that's why people just prefer, you know, 
go to an expensive shop or a supermarket and get good services with guaranteed accountability. And like in Lutuli where everything is just informal with so many weak points of things going wrong. Never think you are too street smart to not be conned in Lutuli. With all that, have you been a victim of being conned in Lutuli or uh, have a different experience? You can leave it down in the comment below and we can chat about it. Also, you can go to shadageeks.com and continue the conversation there. Thank you for watching this video and be sure to subscribe to the channel for new videos like this every other Thursday. See you in the next video.